Hello everyone around the world. So what do you have today? We have a decoder that came in for repair. This is coming from a local customer. And what the customer is saying, he's saying the decoder is not powering on, is not doing anything. This is just a dead decoder. Okay. Um, this is a satellite receiver for, for open view. Uh, the majority decide they are using this open view because there's some free channels you don't need to subscribe to, to to subscribe on monthly basis like DSTV. So the issue this decoder is not turning on is dead. Uh, I've seen so many comments on the channel. People they are they are having queries with their decoders. My decoder is stuck on green light. is is not turning on. is not showing anything. Uh, let me tell you one thing about this decoder. Uh, the chance of of uh, bringing back this thing to life um, is just a uh, so little. You can't do anything here, um, especially if the decoder is powering on and. Uh, Sometimes it's not uh, displaying, it's not, there's no output signal. It's very hard. What you can do, you can try to, uh, to, to, to change the, the APROM IC. Because here we have an APROM IC, here, SPI uh, BIOS chip. Maybe the firmware from the BIOS can be corrupt. So here we have 12 volts, 2.5 amps is too much. Let's lower this to 1.5. 1.5. Um, plug in the the power supply. It's taking 1.5, and voltage is being dropped to 3.3.8 volts. That means something is not right. We have a short to ground on the 12 volts power line. Fine. So what we can check here, we can check the customer's charger. We can check the customer's charger to see if this charger is outputting 12 volts. Maybe the short circuit happened after this charger is gone. No, the charger is good, 11.9 volts. So, here we have a short circuit. Uh, we have a short circuit here. Let's get inside and see. Maybe we'll spot something. What you can spot here? Huh? Can spot anything? I can't spot anything. So here we have the charging port. That's the charging port. The 12 volts is passing through this. Here we have the gatekeeper. We have this external diode. Uh, in case of anything happen, the diode goes on short. And we have so many power supplies. Uh, On the plus of the charging port is short. This diode, short, short, it's reading a short. After the diode, we have some capacitors. These ones are reading short both sides. Here, short both sides. So, 
What do you think is the problem? What I think is the problem? Uh, because we set the power, the power limit to 1.5. In the stacking mass current, I think either we have a shorted capacitor. You know those ceramic capacitors connected on the 12 volts power line can go on short. Or uh, that external diode can be short. Uh, let's see with the thermal camera. What is shooting here? What do you think is that? Huh? Yeah, everything looks fine. But here next to the charging port. What is that? What what is that thing next to the charging port? Hmm? That's a diode. So let's go on a microscope. Charging port, and we have a diode here. Uh, this is just an external diode next to the charging port, and I think that is the problem. And the diode is gone. Zero zero. Uh, let's just have a visual inspection on other parts of the motherboard. So even if we check on those capacitors here, zero. This one, zero, zero. Those ones here. So all those ceramic capacitors, they are all the inputs uh, of every power supply and they are connected to 12 volts power line. That's why they are reading a short. So our problem is this guy. Here and here next to the diode, we have an electrolyte capacitor. We need to isolate this capacitor here, like that. Just to prevent bad things. And here there's no much to space. But when try to take out the diode. Come on. The dart is out. Uh, now we need a replacement of that diode. We need a replacement. Let's put another diode here.
Let's use a soldering iron. Just to ensure that we have strong connection there. Let's use soldering iron. Good. Now, now all what is left is to test. All what is left is to test. Where did I get that diet for replacement? I just took it. We have another board here for open view. I just took. Uh, another external diode doing some job from uh, a board for space. Yeah, it's too hot. Let's wait for this to cool down. I think now we can test. We can test this. Uh, let's close up here. Let's close up here. So now is that moment to test uh, I'll use this this screen. I'll use this screen for testing. So we we'll plug the HDMI, we we'll plug the power. Uh, here we have green light. Let's wait, it's loading. Let's wait, it's loading. Check on the screen, just concentrate on the screen. I'm sure it's still loading. We must have some kind of writing. Open view. Uh, no information. We don't have any channel. No signal. Input from the from the satellite dish. So the job is done. So that's how you you fix uh, this open view. So yeah, it's on. It's on. So that was the ref that was the repair. So what I would say, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also share our videos. Uh, to everyone around the world uh, that was a simple repair but uh, in most cases what you found let me show you where's the other motherboard i can't even locate the other the the other motherboard but in most cases the processor is dying so easily on this on these decoders and you can't do anything that was a lucky customer so see you on the next one bye